This video is part of a playlist for do-it-yourself projects where you can modify something or make something better for your own house. And uh, usually if you own a house and you're doing some kind of changes, some kind of improvements, you want to optimize it so it increases the value. If you're interested in these kind of a home improvements, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Today we're gonna to be installing exterior GFI outlet. In my situation, I have two different types of outlets. I'm changing out the front and the back of the house. Let's take a look at the back first. On the back patio, I have this outlet that just looks very, very dated and it's creaking and I want to get it replaced. On the front of the house, I have the same exact type of outlet and I also want to have it replaced. When you're looking into replacing an outlet, you have to look at the outlet and you can actually tell right away what kind of outlet you have. It's easy as that, you don't even have to take it out. Next thing you need to do is look at your breaker panel. If your breakers happen to say 20 instead of 15, guess what, you're in luck. As you can see, my panel shows 20 amps on their breaker. But according to the residential code, you only need to install 15 amp outlet. If you are gonna be upgrading, then why not upgrade to a better one? Why would you want to have a 20 amp outlet versus a 15 if you want to use any kind of power tools or have access to those power tools in those areas? For example, in my case, I have these outlets that I'm upgrading in three different locations and today I will address only two of those. Both of those will be done on the outside of the building, so they will also require a cover. In three of my cases, I would want to have access to power tools. So I will have one outlet in the backyard, one in the front yard, and one in the garage. This way, all three of those outlets, I am able to plug in any kind of power tool without worrying if it's gonna go over the amperage. Some power tools, they require a little bit more than a 15, which is provided by the standard outlet. So in my case, I went with these Leviton 20 amp. They are weather resistant as long as they're used in a conjunction with an appropriate weather resistant box. In this video, you will see two different types of installations. I'm using two different products. I chose one for the front. This one, I selected it more towards the curb appeal. It is still functioning as an outlet whenever it's closed. It collapses into a flatter and less obtrusive feature and it is much easier to install due to those sliding holes in the back and the different type of the back. For the backyard cover, it was very important for me to be able to see what is being connected. So the clear cover is perfect for my purpose. Since it's also in the backyard, there is a high chance that I'm going to need to open it up quite frequently. And no matter how many times you open it or close it, there's almost nothing in it that could go wrong. And the more complex you make any kind of equipment, any kind of cover, there are more points where it can break. The more points where it something moves, something clicks in, the less of those that you have in any of your installations, the less chances are for it to break. And that is why I'm using this very simple cover in my backyard. Please do not attempt to change any electrical equipment without being 100% sure in your capabilities. It is always better to be safe than sorry, so call an electrician. So with this warning aside, safety first. Turn off the power at the breaker.
as you have seen in these two different installations, the covers serve different purposes. If I had to choose between these two, whichever one is better, I would say that the front door one is better overall. But since it has so many different connections, whenever it opens up and it collapses, the more times you open it up and close it, the more worn out they're gonna get. Therefore, there's more chance of it breaking down over time. But since the one by the front door is very rarely going to get used, I'm not really worried of its longevity. It should serve for decades and decades to come. This has been it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Hit the like button below. Thank you.